Hi, we're back here with Chris Horner at the start of Stage 12 in Lushan. Chris, let's talk about the good first from yesterday, and that was the ride of your teammate, Cadell Evans. 17 seconds down from the three, the three leaders. You know, real good day, solidified his place in the GC. You gotta be happy about that. Absolutely, Cadell was fantastic on an incredibly difficult day. We talked about it a little bit yesterday about the day could go kind of easy and maybe one of the non-favorites would get up the road or we talked about what did happen is one of the is the telecom team coming to the front putting the hammer down making the split and the selection and then uh, with Kedel just following the moves all the way to the finish working a little bit on the front with floyd because they got rid of clone so he wanted to put a little bit of gap there willing to give up the stage basically chance of winning the stage in order to put a little more time for gc is, is what his idea was behind that so it's a fantastic ride for our team yesterday with Kedel. you couldn't ask for anything better he's in a perfect place for gc we don't have to ride the front but he's still close enough that if something happens he can jump right into the move and if he has the fantastic legs again okay you mentioned andreas Claude. not such a good day for t-mobile they you know, they put an attack down on that second last kind of the Portillon, didn't work, and they suffered a lot of damage on the last climb. Absolutely. I think one of the worst moves I've seen done ever next to last year when they did the same thing when they were chasing down Vanekroff going up the climb. How a team that can be that strong and make those kind of mistakes is absolutely unbelievable at this point in time during the tour. Be patient. A team that has five guys riding that good, at least five if not six, riding that good. Be patient. Wait for the race to unfold, then attack. Don't go to the front and pull it back. Waste three, or don't go to the front and drive it. Waste three guys and then get rid of your three GC guys. Yeah. And then you only finish with two or three still on GC. Do they have a chance of winning a tour still? Absolutely. But did they make it worse for their team? Absolutely. Okay. So it uh, wouldn't have been a move I would have ever thought of doing. I knew they might do it. That's what we talked about yesterday. But the idea that they did is just absolutely unbelievable. But they've shown they're doing that stuff in the past, too. Okay. Lastly, from yesterday, let's talk about your ride. Not a, not obviously what you were hoping for, but <laughs> maybe you saved a little something for, for days down the road. Oh, no, I didn't save anything. I was at the limit in the group pedal. I was at the limit when I got dropped. I was exploding in the group pedal. Uh, it was a t not just the worst day of the tour for me, but probably one of the worst days of my career on the bike. I was absolutely at the limit. and. Um, if it would have been any other race, I would have dropped out for sure because I would have never felt so bad for so long in my entire career. So that yeah, was a bad day. Hopefully today legs come back or something, some kind of miracle works. Otherwise, the only diary we'll be doing is me out walking my dog. <laughs> well, we definitely hope that doesn't happen. Is there anything you attributed to? I know you know you had three crashes early on. Abs before the Absolutely. That's all I could think is the crashes. I mean, I had I had a crash at Dolphin A, you know, three weeks before this race started. I had a crash 10 days before the Tour de France started. Crash in stage two, crash in stage three. That's the only thing I can contribute it to is just the muscles and the legs just not performing. Everything else built all right on the first climb, but the legs just would not get the job done. Right. You feel a little better this morning or it's kind of wait and see? Better, but a whole We'll see. <laughs> okay. Last one, just today's stage, probably a stage for a breakaway, probably a long breakaway, guys that are down on GC. Absolutely, and uh, the only threat that we have today at all is just a green jersey. Okay. Uh, one, of the, one of the top five sprinters possibly getting in there trying to steal the green jersey might be the only thing. Otherwise, it should be a day off for the whole DeVita and Lotto team. Okay, fair enough. Chris, we hope you get better and uh, you can turn it around when they, we get to the Alps. Until Absolutely. then, that's all from the Tour de France. Sometime it would come to an end, and uh, with, with, with Lance retiring, we knew that it was going to come to an end, and that it was very unlikely that we would keep uh, being the dominators of the Tour de France. But that's the way it is, you know. We are now, and uh, it's it's more clear than ever in uh, in a transition period. Um, I think at this Tour de France, we have brought our strongest possible team, but uh, you know, maybe maybe the objectives were were not really realistic and. Uh, the tour is not over yet for us. There's still, there's still 10, 10 stages to go, and uh, which means that there's 10, 10 possibilities to win a stage, and uh, we're going to go for every single one of them. How about Paolo Sabotelli? We heard he had a crash or an accident going down. The yes. Yesterday. Yeah. Well, that's that's sometimes you know it's sometimes one bad thing doesn't come without another. So we had a bad day yesterday, and then on top of that. Yesterday, Paolo, uh, after the stage, he, he went down with the bike. He was uh, run over by a spectator who didn't pay attention. He crashed. Uh, 
Uh, the crash was not too bad, but uh, he has a big cut above above his eye. He needed needed stitches, in, in, in so it's uh, it's definitely not a good thing. But uh, he's a strong boy, and he, he will he will come over it. How would you characterize this tour as an established Europe transition? Uh, how would I categorize? Characterize. Characterize. Uh, I'd say it's uh, decaffeinated Tour de France. <laughs> With uh, a lack of uh, outstanding riders who attack. But I think it's quite logical, you know. I mean, all the all the I mean, the strong guys from last year are not here, and all of a sudden it's uh, riders who could maybe aspire for the podium place who have to dominate the race. So it's it's logical that uh, there is not that much action. No, I mean nobody has done it, and I, but I think in the Alps, you know, it's going to be clear who's really above the others, and uh, there's going to be also other riders who have nothing to lose anymore. And uh, there's, there's, I think there's definitely going to be intentions for firework. And then afterwards, if you have the legs to do the firework, that's another thing. Any cyclists surprised you pleasantly? Uh, from our team, uh, no, nobody, but. Uh, <laughs> That's, uh, that's from the others. <laughs> uh, from the others, no. I think yeah, that's Landis is, was expected there. Manchov was expected there. Sastre, Levi, Kadel Evans. I think there's no surprises. The surprise was a little bit. Cluden couldn't really keep up with with them, and even uh, Mayo. Well, even Mayo was not there. You know, it's, it's, uh, we didn't really know with him. He was he was great at the Dauphiné. I thought he was he had his climbing legs back, uh, but uh, apparently he wasn't feeling so good from the start of the Pyrenees already. So, but um, no, that's not not really surprises. How about yourself? Are you surprised about yourself? Were you surprised about yourself yesterday? Negatively. About myself? Yeah, your your team. Um, I mean. Disappointed, yes, disappointed. Uh, you know, it's 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 not something that happens all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. You know, you could see it come, and uh, <coughs> just have to uh, when when you have a, a bad situation like that, you have to turn the page and, and look forward and, and try to get uh, get back on track. You know, so how uh, can it be explained? I mean, many of the guys, the same guys who've been along Armstrong for the last couple of years, and being capable of controlling the race until the last climb, actually, and now all of a sudden they they just more or less gone. Yeah. How? Well, you know, they it's it's a, it's a completely different different situation. Okay. They we, we we definitely missed that strong, unique goal to mm. fight for. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the first week we've been paying attention, riding attentively, but uh, not really knowing what we could expect. And, uh, and also yesterday, we, we knew, of course, that we were not going to win the stage or win the Tour de France yesterday. And um, I think physically they're okay. It's just, uh, I mean, they're definitely not with, with the very best for the moment. But um, it's, it's, a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit a new situation for us and, and, and also for me. Mm -hmm. So it's, of course, uh, not, not, not very, I'm not very happy to, to see what happened yesterday. But at the same time, it's also a good moment to really analyze the situation of the team and how we have to look forward and, and do things in the future. What you need is a new leader. What you need is a new leader because... Or what we need maybe is no leader at all and, uh, and stage no hunters. And uh, we started with ambitions for the, for the GC. Um, so it, it all depends on, on on the attitude of the team now in the next in the ne in, in, in the second half of the race, you know. But you, you said that um, there's not that one unique strong goal anymore to work for. If you have a new leader, then you know that that one unique. It's not the same. Goal. It's not the same, but because right now, who can tell he's working for that strong goal with guarantees to win? Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Yeah. You know, our guys. You cannot. I mean, when they started the Tour de France in the past. They knew that Armstrong was strong. It was a guarantee. And that without a crash or an illness, he would win. And that just makes a big difference, you know? 
if, if you have to kill yourself or somebody and you know that he's gonna have, be in yellow in Paris and you're almost sure if he doesn't crash or get sick, it's a completely different effort rather than having to try to follow somebody, somebody else yes. who, I mean, if you do, so we, we, we have to change, we have to change the chip and you cannot change the chip from one moment to the other. It takes a transition period for that. And is there, is there one guy on the peloton who can, who has this? Take it over. Capacity. Well, right now, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, there's definitely going to be a Tour de France winner. And I don't know who's gonna be, but uh, it doesn't mean that this guy is gonna win the Tour de France next year. So maybe the mentality, the team has to change. Definitely. They have, they have but to. I think it's a, it's it's not only the, the riders. I think it's the, the the mentality of the whole team. And yes. to be able to do that, we cannot say, okay, now Armstrong is gone last year. Pop, we are another team. They have to they take yeah. time to adjust. We have to, to a new situation. We have to adjust. They have to adjust mentally. Maybe I will have to do some changes in the team. Uh, Learn from, I learn from this also, of course, yes. and mm -hmm. maybe in uh, the way we are going to compose the team for next year, I will have some lessons here in this Tour de France also. Okay. Do you think there was too much pressure put on this team with, you know, things like the race to replace promotion and, you know, all this, you know, who's going to be the next Lance? Do you think that maybe got to guys like Kim Cappy? No. no, I don't think so. I mean, if you had to do it again, would you want that promotion? Promotions like that to continue. I mean, yeah. Why not? Why not? I mean, there's, there's a, the one thing is the race, and what, another thing is what a sponsor does with, uh, with, with, with his brand, you know. And uh, I'm, I mean, the race to replace is a great, is a great thing. I think that's it's been there's been a lot of interest for it, and ultimately, uh, a sponsor invests in the sports to get return, whether if it's good or not so good. But as long as the people talk about you and that people think about you. So I think the race to replace has been a great, a great uh, idea. What do they do with that show now? Well, the show is over. The show will run until the Tour de France started, and now people are watching the Tour de France. So, Johan, would you say that? Uh, well, I sometimes I just don't know. I mean, I don't. Right now, I don't really know where I'm going to go after the tour. Am I going to go to Dijon and spend time with my wife and her family, or am I going to go back to Girona, or am I going to do some criteriums? Like right now, I don't, I don't know. So it's, it's always hard to keep up with that. And every time, but it's important, time. you know. You're in favor of uh, the tougher rules and the yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 obviously a, an inconvenience, but it's it's definitely an important. It's cast a shadow over this tour, I guess, in some ways, with the basso and the whole. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What do you think about the speed of the tour this year? I mean, obviously, you know, basso is not here. We kept asking ourselves the question: If you were here yesterday, then what might have happened? I mean, what do you think the tour is facing with the loss of the big riders? In the well, I think. Guys like Floyd are riding super good, and I think he probably would have been able, been there with, with Basso and Ulrich also. I mean, I don't know, it might have been different, but um, it's tough to say. I know that it's still going fast, so um, Floyd's been riding great all year, maybe even a little bit better than Ulrich, and maybe as good as Basso, so he deserves to be in yellow. Have you had a word from Lance uh, so far uh, recently? Uh, last week, yesterday, I wasn't. I was just spending time with my family, so I didn't even talk to anybody. Melanie's here again today. Uh, yeah, but she's going home. Okay, <laughs> okay a couple from you, and then he's gotta go. Great. Thank you. George, do you think maybe there was more pressure on this team than was fair with things like the race to replace, and you know, just the who's gonna step into the shoes? I mean, it's sort of a natural transition, but but you know, impossible task to do. No, I mean, we. That's our job is to deal with pressure. I mean, controlling the Tour de France with Lance is is a. Uh, enormous amount of pressure so this year is was different in the fact that they expected us to, 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 uh, to try to perform as well but it's just as hard to, to perform for yourself as to control the jersey for Lance it's not any easier I, I know you've asked I answered this probably several times already today but could you just kind of characterize what happened yesterday for us well I just didn't I didn't have the legs I couldn't go with the leaders and once I saw that I just kind of lost hope and lost morale so it's just, just a matter of trying to make it to the finish line at that point. Obviously yesterday everybody was, was disappointed um, but it's right now is is a moment where you have to try to stay focused and you know we got to try to win a stage and try to get in breakaways and you know we're still the same team that we always were we're still the same riders and, and uh, you know that's something that it's not ever going to be taken away from us we're still uh, here to, to try to win stages now and we got to continue to fight for that.
how disappointing was it for you yesterday yeah, when really you really expected to be with the best on the this tour? Yeah. What was going through your head yesterday when you realized? Yeah, yesterday was maybe one of the toughest days of my career just because I had a lot of hope and for myself to do well. And Michael. Once I saw that it was that wasn't the case, it was it was a really really tough day for me. Was it okay? Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. Thanks, PJ. Niet gemakkelijk, maar ja, we moesten het proberen, anders was hij altijd verloren tegen Freire en okay, Freire moest gewoon afwachten. Bedankt, dan. Okay. Johan, just take away the sting of yesterday a little. Right down. Well, he won the hand. Hoi! Ik kom maar even. Johan, drop je aan. Hi, we're back at the Tour de France with Stefan, Ode and Remy. They drive around each day selling. 10 articles for 20 euros and I just want you guys to tell me a little bit about what each day is like and what are you selling? So we are selling, the, it's a, the official kit of the Tour de France, it's 10 products, so one t-shirt, uh, one hat, one, um, one teddy bear like that, and two bracelets, four manettes, um, and yeah it's uh, 20 euro and we are on the road all day. We start uh, about 7 o'clock in the morning and we stop at 8 p.m. something like that. Every day you start at the start in your van here and you yeah. hang out there for a little while and then drive the whole course. Is yeah. that how it works? Yeah, we do that. We, uh, we are beginning at the G-port of the road and go... Yeah, the start, sorry. <laughs> and we, ro we are on the road all day and we sell uh, when we see people, we say stop and go and speech with them and say, okay, it's the official kit, where it's 10 product for 20 euro and yeah. Okay. okay. How did you get this job? <laughs> uh, it's the summer job for me and uh, uh, for, for him, for Stefan, is a training period. So uh, we know the Tour de France uh, in France, of course, and we, say, we send uh, our uh, CV and Okay. That's all. On, on a good day, how many of these bags do you sell? Uh, normally, I think a good day will be 255 uh, kits, something like that. But this year, it's quite different because of the reason of the tour with people. So a good day, it's 200. Okay. Do you all take turns driving or does one person drive and the other two sell all the time? We change a little bit yeah. because uh, I'm a little bit tired. So. Stefan is a very good driver <laughs> and uh, we get a, a lot of fun uh, on the Tour de France because uh, all the people are, are very funny and uh, in, on the road uh, it, it, it's a party everywhere in uh, each uh, village, in each uh, city, so it's uh, very funny. Yeah. What are some of the craziest things you see out there, costumes or parties all, or what? All, all, all the people are, are telling because of the caravan and uh, the caravan uh, uh, give a lot of things and uh, we are just uh, selling things sure. so uh, all the people are uh, casket 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 so it's very funny because uh, we are just selling and it's very difficult because uh, the current is giving things so um, we are a little bit um, a little bit a little bit amazing because people are very happy but uh, when we arrive it's um, they have to, to pay so but uh, yeah they are okay. funny too do you guys ever get to see the race at all, or are you always just out in front of it? We are in front of it. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know who's winning the, the Tour de France right now? <laughs> really? No. <laughs> do you? Uh, maybe uh, Claudan or, or um, the Fonac uh, player. Uh, I don't know. Landis. Landis. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think is uh, going to win the overall? Uh, my favorite uh, is uh, Vaucler, the French. Yeah, the Frenchman. What's wrong with the Frenchmen? They, it's been a long time since they won the Tour de France. 
Um, <laughs> maybe that's a bad question. You don't have to answer. Yeah. Let's just take a. You want to just shoot some B-roll in there? You want to hold up some of the items, and I can uh, show everybody. All right. How about a shirt? Maybe uh, sometimes yeah. it's very, very expensive. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's 20 euros. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Stefan, Remy, and Ode, thank you very much. Thank you, too. Good luck, and uh, we're, we're halfway through, so. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, that's all for now from the Tour de France. Oh, that was terrible. He's going to do his music thing, and, like, yelling at him. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Est-ce qu'on échoue ici à Carcassonne Nous avons rien que pour vous le kit officiel, les 10 produits pour seulement 20 euros, messieurs, dames. Le t-shirt, la casquette, les 4 magnettes, les 2 bracelets et le petit porte-clé ourson, messieurs, dames. Alors, on approche, on approche.